Hi, my name is Brigitte Paneski. I'm Chief Medical Officer for HealthCoin. We're a new startup providing a blockchain infrastructure for users' health data, allowing for users to own, manage, and benefit economically from their own health data. We're looking at diabetes risk as the first logical place to start training individuals to have this type of expectation of their own data. Hi, my name is Diego Espinosa and I'm the CEO of HealthCoin. Half of us in this room are going to have a chronic disease sometime in our lifetime. It really is going to drive our quality of life. And the problem is that the medical system's not really set up to manage chronic disease because doctors simply don't have enough time. 1.3 minutes of every 15-minute doctor visit, only 1.3 minutes, are spent advising the patient on their health. And if a doctor wanted to do more or know more about their patient, it's really hard because they see 2,300 patients on their list and they spend two hours on the EHR for every one hour that they see uh, uh, they spend seeing patients. So it's really unfair to actually ask doctors to do more. The logical solution is to ask patients to do more, and for that they need to be empowered. What they need to be empowered is their data, specifically their longitudinal lifetime data, and that's where HealthCoin comes in. We're the next generation personal health record. We're blockchain based, and we allow users to own their encrypted data and to securely share it with permissioned stakeholders. And I'll show you what I mean by stakeholders in a minute. So picture yourself in the middle of this circle, and you've got your data, your lifetime data, which includes your genomics, your wearables data, blood labs, um, all from your lifetime. And you can show it to people in two ways. You can de-encrypt the actual data for doctors, uh, for chronic disease communities, for telemedicine providers, so that they can instantly get a sense of your progression over a lifetime. And you can also share certificates that prove you've improved your health with employers and with payers. So they don't get to see the underlying data. You might think it's none of their business, but they do get to see proof that that data has been improving over time and they can reward you using that proof. So two things, you get to share your data for health and you get to share uh, proof that your data has improved for uh, improvement in your income. So imagine a telemedicine provider uh, crunches your data using AI, your longitudinal data, um, and outputs a prevention program for you that uh, helps you prevent diabetes. An employer rewards your health tokens as part of the wellness program. A pharma company actually pays you for your genome with a limited use commercial license so that they can't sell that de-identified genome. It belongs to you and they come to you for a license to use it. Imagine a community helps you track your uh, Fitbit milestones th that help you keep uh, away from diabetes. All of these are possible using your longitudinal data that you own. Why now? So the landscape is, is kind of littered with personal uh, health records that didn't really um, own up to what they were supposed to be. Uh, but things are changing. So there's a regulatory tailwind that's really good, o ONS and CMS. All want to see users ha uh, have their data and more access to their data over time. And that's not going to go away. Uh, privacy is becoming a huge concern. Value-based medicine is obviously putting emphasis on preventing chronic disease. We're generating more and more data, as, not as patients, but as individuals, with wearables data and with our genomics. Um, and we need a place to put it. So AI is one of the biggest drivers. How are we going to do AI if we don't have the data to do AI with? And longitudinal data is the jet fuel for AI. Um, and blockchain is the place to put this all. So all of these things are coming together at time. We're second into the market. There's already a blockchain uh, health data company in it called Pocket Doc. It's been around for a couple of years. They're more enterprise oriented. Um, we're much more consumer oriented. There's going to be a couple of blockchain platforms that allow people to do this and in the next five years. We think we're going to be one of them. So a little bit about the team. I actually came out of Wall Street. I'm an expert on financial systems. So that's part of what helped me design uh, HealthCoin as a system. And my uh, chief medical officer is a, was a practicing physician and also a blood lab CMO. Um, and uh, we're expanding the team because we're joining forces with the leading blockchain firm, independent blockchain firm in the world. Uh, they're number one in smart contract technology. They have the resources and the funding and the network to really make us work and help us scale. And more important than that, they have patience and purpose because everyone in this room knows that personal health data is really important and that it's just taken a long time to happen. Well, we're gonna be there for the long term to make this happen and that's super important. Our ask today is uh, we're seeking pilots. We're, we don't want to change your uh, health data system. We want you in parallel 
to download data into a user's account so that they can have it and keep it over their lifetime. So population health, research trials, wearables and apps, if you're a digital health company, or hospital clinical practice or clinical practices, all of you have access to data for users. Help users get empowered and engaged and improve their health and their income um, by uh, downloading it to the HealthCoin blockchain, and we'd love to talk to you, to you about that. Thank you very much.